please be seated and welcome Assistant Secretary John Fernandez. Thank you. Thank you very much. President Clinton, Governor Beebe, Dean, all the distinguished guests here today. It's a real honor for me to uh, participate in this uh, fabulous event. I also uh, want to thank uh, Senator Lincoln, who's here. Uh, she's one of our great fans of EDA and the Congress, and we certainly appreciate her support. You know, there's a couple of people here as well from uh, the EDA, from our Austin office, who at the end of the day really do all the heavy lifting. I've got the cool gig. I just kind of show up and announce grants and smile. Uh, but these are the folks who do all the heavy lifting day in and day out. And for many of you who've been uh, very involved in this specific project, I probably don't have to introduce uh, Sam Spearman to you, but I certainly want to acknowledge the terrific work he's done. Uh, Camille Osborne is also here from our uh, Austin office. And I know many of you know uh, our, our terrific regional director from Austin, uh, Pedro Garza. He's not with us today, but I can assure you that he is here in spirit, Mr. President. The, uh, the Clinton Center's obviously been a terrific catalyst for uh, the redevelopment and new investment in Little Rock. I haven't been here since uh, 1990 and obviously has changed a great deal since then. Uh, these kinds of projects are so important to bringing people downtown into the center city. It's a real measure of the vitality of the community. And so we're very happy to have been able to uh, make a modest investment uh, to make this uh, bridge connection a reality. And you know, as Dean said, this uh, bridge is so much more than just a piece of infrastructure for pedestrians and bikes like cyclists. It's really a, um, for me, it's just one more important investment in the public common. And in, in our lives so much, and I know the president, when he was in office and throughout his own career, understood the notion of community. And it's investments like this where people can actually interact on a personal basis, walking, strolling, generations coming together, having those chance social interactions where we're reminded that we're really all part of one community that we're all in this together, and that's why these investments are so critically important. You know, in the economic development world, it's so easy to be focused on uh, commercialization of research, on how we're gonna drive the innovation policies. These are all incredibly important uh, to having a robust economy. But at the end of the day, you have to have places where people want to be, and having cities and regions that are livable. And so investments, uh, and projects like this are actually an important part of the sweet spot of the work we do at the EDA. We're proud to be a partner in this project. Uh, we're very grateful for the hard work of everybody involved in making this uh, project come forward. We congratulate everyone and look forward to coming back and, and using this trail as well. Thank you very much. Please welcome Governor Mike Beebe. Mr. President, Senator Lincoln, Mrs. Beebe. <laughs> How'd I do? Because Dr. Compuris did such a great job of outlining the significant accomplishments of the various entities that have worked together to make this a reality today, because he's highlighted the public-private partnerships and because so many people who are here are aware of those different entities that work together. And because he did it so eloquently, I need not go into it. The second reason I need not go into it is half this crowd is in the sun. The third reason I need not go into it is that we're already late. And the fourth is I know we're not gonna shorten President Clinton's speech, so I better shorten it. <laughs> So for all of those reasons and then some, it is my honor and distinct pleasure to introduce to you our favorite son, our native, the person for whom we're extremely grateful for this economic tourist educational facility being here, the person who I had a chance to grow up with politically, who I shared so many years with at the state capitol, 
and who has made us as our Kansans so proud. The 42nd governor of the state of Arkansas. The 42nd president of the United States. Our friend, William Jefferson Clinton.